We're in Washington, D.C., and today we're gonna to walk you through all of the top foods you need to try when visiting this city. We absolutely loved exploring Washington, D.C.'s food scene. First on our list is a trip to one of D.C.'s most iconic and historic restaurants, Ben's Chili Bowl. We are in Ben's Chili Bowl right now, and it's actually really exciting because we just came across Virginia of Ben and Virginia's Chili Bowl. She was just kind of standing around our table, and I kind of noticed she looks exactly like the person that's in a million pictures hanging on the wall. So she actually came over, asked us how our meal was, and actually took a picture with Michael, so that was pretty exciting. But we are very hungry, and we're ready for our first stop on the food tour here. We ended up getting what we think is the classic thing to get here, which is the Ben's Chili Bowl, and then we also got a half smoke hot dog, which we're really excited about. But I'm gonna go into the Chili Bowl here now. Looks very thick, and they give us a nice layer of sour cream and cheese on top, which is always appreciated. Mm. There's a lot of beans in there, and it has an extremely smoky flavor. It's actually unlike chili I'm used to. The smoke kind of like hits you in the back of your throat. It's really good, kind of spicy. The next thing we have here are just cheese fries. You can get them with chili on top, but we just decided to get them on the side and dunk them in the chili. So give that a go here. It's really good. That's my kind of fry. And so we're Courtney just got a bowl of chili. I actually went with a chili dog. This is called a half smoke, and it looks like a chili dog. It's got finely diced onions on there, mustard, and draped in the Ben's famous chili. I'm gonna take a bite here. That's incredible. When I compare it to the Coney's I've had before with chili, this is the highest quality hot dog. It's almost more like an Italian sausage in a hot dog. It's got a really nice meaty flavor to it. And the chili on there is really good. Definitely smoky, not an intense heat, but really, really good chili dog. Next on our list, we're heading to DC's Georgetown neighborhood, which is home to some amazing architecture and great eats. We're picking up one of a kind breakfast sandwiches from one of the area's most well-known restaurants, Call Your Mother Down. We just got Call Your Mother Deli. It's this amazing Jewish deli located right in Georgetown. And we just walked about two blocks down. We got to Georgetown campus and it's the most scenic spot I can imagine to eat some of these sandwiches. I love what's one of the most popular things on the menu. It's called the Sun City Sandwich. It's got pastrami, eggs. I think there's a spicy honey on there as well. I'm really excited to try it. It's an everything bagel. It's got a really good weight to it. And it's almost got a nice shine to it with all the oils on there. Holy cow. It's almost got a salty smokiness to it from the pastrami, but from the spicy honey, it adds a sweet tang to it. It's probably the most flavorful bagel I've ever tried in my life. Granted, I'm from the Midwest where bagels aren't anything fancy, but on the East Coast, they do bagels a little better out here. The other thing I'll say is normally bagels are so tough and it almost feels like you're eating bagel and then what's on it. This with the sauces all blending together, it almost feels like it's more of a cohesive bite and you get so many flavors in every bite. Incredible sandwich. So I got what seems to be another pretty popular menu item. This is the Royal Palm and this has salmon on it as well as cream cheese, cucumber, tomato, and I think capers as well. So I'm gonna give this a go. And this is on an everything bagel as well. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's a pretty heavy seated everything bagel, which I wasn't really expecting. So you really get that punch of everything bagel flavor, but it keeps it really light with the salmon and the cucumber and all the veggies on there. That's really good. And it's actually pretty refreshing on a hot day. So right now it's Sunday at around noon time. We were expecting to wait a while in that line. It looked pretty long whenever we first arrived, but I think they only waited maybe 15 minutes or so. And then our order was done right away. We actually couldn't believe it whenever they called my name. While still in Georgetown, we're heading over to another famous spot along Georgetown's iconic M Street, and that's Georgetown Cupcakes. So right now we're outside Georgetown Cupcakes. This place is famous. I don't know if you remember back in the day, it had a reality show on TLC called DC Cupcakes, I think. So that's what I remember it from, but we got one cupcake here which we're really excited to try. This is the mocha chocolate chip, I think. And we also got an iced coffee to pair it with. And we're hoping this is gonna be a nice little pick me up on this hot day here. So I'm gonna go in with the first bite. 
Mm. Oh my gosh. The icing definitely tastes like espresso foam that you would get on top of the coffee. That's really good. I wasn't expecting that at all. I was kind of expecting coffee flavor from the cupcake itself. The cupcake is full of chocolate chips and it looks like we even have a chocolate covered espresso bean on top. And coffee's great too. Okay, I think I figured out what this icing reminds me of. If you remember in 2020, there was that Dalgona coffee phase where you whip the instant coffee. That's exactly what this tastes like. Kind of mixed in with like the buttercream frosting flavor. It's really good. For dinner, we wanted to try some of the delectable Ethiopian cuisine that DC is known for. So we headed over to a popular spot, Ethiopian Family Restaurant. One of the things we were so excited to try when we came to DC is Ethiopian food. DC is a large Ethiopian population that came over in the 80s and 90s. And with them, they brought their amazing food culture. So we're in a section of DC that's called Little Ethiopia and there's tons of Ethiopian restaurants to try. We grabbed one with some great reviews and we're really excited to walk you through what we've got here. We ended up ordering the vegetarian family special here and we definitely have enough food for a whole family, but we're gonna try and see what we can accomplish ourselves. So I'm gonna do my best to try and remember what each of these were. This is a spicy lentil blend. I think the rest of these are lentils and they're just seasoned in a different way. This looks like green beans here. I think we have some cabbage, collard greens, a salad, and beets, I think. So the way that you typically eat Ethiopian food is actually with your hands. So we have all of these fun things to try, all laid on top of this sort of like a sourdough sponge bread and they also gave us some extra to scoop it up from the top so we're gonna give this our best shot and I'll go in for the first bite here so I got a little bit of injera here and I'm gonna go for the spicy lentil which I'm excited about probably doing this wrong but here we go Wow, that's really good. Very, very spicy. So I'm definitely gonna hop around a little bit to cool off. That's really good. So I'm gonna go for a collard bite and a lentil bite, I think. I'm gonna try to get both at once. So. Mm, that's incredible. The collards have that nice kind of fermented, almost acidity flavor to them. And the lentils add a nice creaminess. Mm, that's so surprisingly good. That's amazing. And the best thing about this dish is that you can actually eat what everything is served on. So I'm gonna eat our plate here. And now all of the spices and the deliciousness has soaked into the sponge bread. So it is absolutely delicious, but we're definitely gonna have trouble finishing this. The next stop on our food tour is taking us to an exciting upscale Italian restaurant in DC, and that's Loton. So for the next spot on the food tour, we are stopping at one of DC's most famous Italian restaurants. This restaurant's called La Darnte, and we've heard that they have some amazing Italian food. So here we have one of the most popular menu items. This is Saffron Arancini. I think I'm saying that correctly, but essentially what we've figured out this is, is fried cheese balls, but obviously the fancier version of that. So somehow they've incorporated saffron into these. I'm not really sure how yet, but we think that there's mozzarella on the inside of these and you can see they're soaked in chili oil and it looks like there's some sort of scallions on top. So we're really excited to try this. Going into my first bite here. It's actually pretty lightweight for being essentially a fried cheese ball soaked in chili oil. It has a lot of refreshing flavor in there and I'm guessing that's coming from the saffron. But oh my gosh, that's amazing. And the chili oil pages so well with the mozzarella in there. It's really surprising. So these have a little bit of a punch to them. There's definitely a spice to it, but I almost think the best word to describe this is floral and citrusy. In the chili oil, there actually is saffron in there. And that really brings like that sweetness and citrus tang. It's a really, really flavorful dish. So what we have here is another famous dish this restaurant is known for, and that's their 40 layer lasagna. So it's comprised of short ribs, pasta, tomato sauce, onions, and it looks absolutely incredible. It's served on the side here with a mountain of freshly shredded, what looks to be Parmesan cheese. I am so excited to take this first bite here. So I'm going for my first bite right now. I'm actually gonna dip it in the Parmesan cheese. And this plate is really hot, so I think the cheese is already a little bit melty. But here we go. 
Oh. That is incredible. It is so soft. The short ribbon there just melts in your mouth. And the savoriness of the sauce and the cheese coming together. It's a very light lasagna. I think normally lasagna is really heavy, oily, saucy. Or if like this is more focused on the pasta and the meat itself and then the seasoning, that's a terrific lasagna. Yeah, that actually doesn't seem like there's a lot of tomato in this sauce at all. It actually is reminding us a lot more like gravy than tomato sauce, which is a really interesting take on lasagna. We're loving it. We're also seeing some carrots in here. The short rib is absolutely amazing. So it's nice to bounce between the heavier gravy and short rib elements and move on to something creamy like the ricotta cheese and the shredded cheese over here. Absolutely delicious. After a delicious dinner, we wandered over to Dolceza, a local favorite in DC for gelato and coffee. So we're ending our day with a sweet treat and we're at Dolceza. This is a local gelato coffee shop and they have a couple locations around the city we spoke with the team inside and they said all the gelato ingredients are actually sourced from the dc area so it's got a good hometown taste and we ordered a large and i'd severely underestimated this this is a monstrous large they give you three flavors with the large so here we have cookies and cream just chocolate chips and this one i'm most excited to try this is dolce de leche i'm hoping it's gonna remind me a bit of mancar or trace leche's cake i'm super excited to try this it's melting quick so i'm diving right in Mmm, incredibly creamy, really thin cut chips. They're almost like little flakes on a hot day in DC. This is such a delightful treat. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos like the top things to do in DC and our DC public transportation guide. Thanks and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.